Hey guys, Rob from Clicks Geek. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a high converting landing page. I'm actually going to walk you through two. Now, something to keep in mind when you're looking at these pages is these pages are converting high, over 30%, but it's only mobile traffic, okay? So we're only driving mobile traffic to these pages. We are not driving desktop traffic. So that's something to keep in mind when you're building pages is you need to really design the pages based on the type of traffic that you're sending to it. So with that said too, it's important to understand that it's not the landing pages are not a magic bullet. Okay? So it, it, the the campaign, the marketing campaign that is sending traffic to these pages is really what in the end is going to be what converts and it's all about your message match and your ads saying one thing and your landing pages continuing carrying that message. So that's important to keep in mind, all right? Is that this is not a magic bullet. It takes a lot of testing to get pages to convert over 30%, but I show you how to do that. All right. So with that said, let's walk through our example page here. We use our Insta page landing page builder is what we use. So you can see here we'll have our logo. It's gonna pull up. Let me get rid of that. All right. <clears throat> so it has our logo here. Then here we're going to do an authentic picture. So this one is a plumber, okay? So so this would be a picture for our plumbing client here. This would be a picture of their fan or their office building or their team out on a job. We'd have their main call to action here. Then we put their city name, local plumbers. This is showing the lead that's coming that you're local. And then we drop right below that. I might reorganize this. Yeah, I like that. So then we right below that we put... We can help with drains, pipes, water heaters, whatever, whatever their, whatever their main uh, services are. Then below that, we have the two call to actions. One is to call, and bear with me here. I'm gonna make these bigger. There we go. Then we have our two main call to actions, which is a click to call button for mobile, and a get a free estimate pop up, which is just a generic. There's no thought went into this, by the way, guys. Just so you know. All right, so that don't use this. <laughs> you need really good, strong call to actions on these forms. And I just made these as an example page. All right, so that's the header. Now we will come down, we hit them with some testimonials. You can use text testimonials here because we're going to use social proof testimonials lower down. So we hit them here with some testimonials. Then we tell them about our services right here. And you list out every single service that the plumber offers. Then we hit them with a call to action, a click to call. Then we tell them about our company, which I'm not really sure why these colors are not matching. So we tell them about our company here, two paragraphs, just your location, all that stuff. Actually, I would put below that, I would put something like this too, which I is not in this page for some reasons. reason. So we do something like corporate. corporate headquarters and then one two three main street big bill and just put whatever I don't know uh, just something like that it's important that for a local service business that you have your address somewhere on the page so that's important we would have that, then we would have two more authentic pictures here of the team, uh, the, the plumbing crew out on a job or the van or just the office, inside the office, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Then below that we would have social proof, which we could do um, two screenshots of Yelp or actually I would do more. I would do, if you can do four, do four, but you should do Yelp or Facebook or any kind of uh, social proof review is what you want to put here. Any kind of review you really want to drop here. Angie's list, whatever. And I would just do that here. Then below that we have our final call to action. Our plumbers are on standby. Call now. Then put some text below that. Um, I don't really have anything here. You can put something, just something else to reinforce everything we've just been talking about above is what you can put right here on the subheadline. And then a click to call. Privacy page. All rights reserved. And then you could put your ad extension number in here if you're doing Google Ads. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's go back up top. All right, <clears throat> now we're gonna look at the mobile page. Well, let's save this first, because we did make some changes. 
So we're saving that live on the page. Now we're going to come over here to the mobile version of the page. And this is what we want to put all of our effort into because this is what is going to be driving all the phone calls that we're going with. All right. So as you can see here, it's very condensed. Logo, main call to action, sub call to action. We get our free estimate here. It's a pop-up box. And then a click to call button. Then we come down here. We got our testimonials. We got our services. And we got our uh, little call to action, click to call thing here. We got about the company. We got our, our, uh, our, our uh, authentic pictures. We do got to fix this though because we have our address here too now. So we got our authentic pictures here. And actually, you know what? I don't like this. We should reorganize this. There we go. So then we got our we got our two authentic pictures. And then it goes right into our um, social proof screenshots. That ties it off. Then it comes down to our final call to action. We got that down here, and that rolls into a click to call. And that's really it. <clears throat> now the key to making these pages work. Is not it's not even really about the design. It's not about the graphics, images. It's it's all about the message match, the copy on the page. I, I you might have seen videos where people are always like, oh, this page is so ugly, but it converts. It converts at fifty percent. Yeah, that's true. People don't really care. They really don't. They they care about if you're they're coming to your page because they have a problem. They saw an ad that solved that problem. They're coming to to the landing page from the ad. And all they want to do is see that you solve the problem and you do it quickly. That's all. That is it. That's that's how you convert high for landing pages. I mean, it doesn't really get much simpler than that. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're when you're building these these landing pages and you're trying to drive phone calls to your company or your client's company, is to keep the message match all the way smooth straight across. All right. So if we go into another page here, so here we have a pest control page. All right, I'm not going to go through this too much, but you can see it's kind of like the same principles. The only thing we don't have on this page, which we probably should, is uh, reviews or testimonials. But the page converts at 30% without them, so I haven't really done anything to it. I'm totally content with 30% conversion rates. All right, so you can see here, though, we have our logo, main call to action, our main header with the city name, important. Okay, three authentic pictures. We got our contact form. We got about us content block. Here's all the pests we can help them with. Like if they if they're searching and landing on this page because they're searching for a specific pest, we'll have them all listed here. So we solve their problem immediately. They see that we solve their problem. Down here, a little about us information, and then here, just like the other page, we have our corporate headquarters address, main call to action, areas we serve. Okay, so here we'll list all the cities that they serve in. This page is missing a privacy policy though, so that I would definitely drop that down there. But that's it, and this page converts to 30%, all right? Now, if you want to see a mobile version of this page, this is it, all right? See how it's the same layout as our, our other one over here. This this is the, it's just, this just works, guys, all right? And the message match is king. That is what, that is the end-all, be-all for landing pages, all right? Very simple page. There's nothing to it. Not that great looking, to be honest with you. Nice big click-to-call number. Big call to action. We solve call for a free pest removal estimate. Coming from an ad that says call for a free pest removal estimate. We can remove all your pests. Then we come down here. All the pests are listed. So then we're just reinforcing them. Free estimate. Here's your form. Fill it out. Tell us about the pests you have. So we're just hitting them with reinforcing upon reinforcing upon reinforcing. And just getting them to... To understand, there, there's no confusion when they come to our pages. They come from an ad that's talking about the same thing that is from the pages. So that's what I was talking about earlier when I said to keep in mind <clears throat> that no matter what, the landing page is not a magic bullet. In the end, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to your marketing, like where, what kind of traffic is coming to this page. Now, if I'm if I'm just running a, a plumbing campaign in Google Ads about water heater, fixing a water heater. This is not a good page you're looking at to, to send a water heater. 
that I would design a specific page, same layout, same everything, but it would be talking about water heaters and fixing them. And our text can be on site to fix your water heater today or tomorrow or this week or whatever. That is the main thing to understand is you got to break these things up. You can't just send all the plumbing traffic, general plumbing traffic to a general plumbing page. You got to break it off into different ad groups and different, you know what I'm saying? So that's just something to keep in mind when you're building these pages is no matter what videos you're watching on YouTube right now, it, no matter what they tell you, it's the message match is the most important thing, all right? <clears throat> keep that in mind. So sorry, I went on a little rant there, but it's, it's important to understand and nobody really talks about it. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's a little red button in the bottom right of your screen right now. Click that, subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in learning more about how we create these high converting landing pages that convert at 20, 30, 40%, then we have a, a course called Landing Page Academy, and I'll drop a link to that below the description of this video. Besides that, guys, uh, I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video.